Hi. In a recent survey of iPad tutorial subscribers, one of the subscribers stated that her biggest challenge was only being able to work in one Safari screen at a time. This is Sheila Finkelstein, Technology for Seniors Made Easy .com, showing you how you can use Safari and the different windows, accessing them quickly. What you see in front of you is my iPad. And right now I'm going to Safari in the bottom right, and it opens to the last window, last screen I was on. If I want to now see the other windows, in the top right corner, you'll see two pages. Clicking on that opens all the screens that I've been working on. So if I want to switch to another screen, I simply go to, I um, wanted to show you another one of mine. Uh, there's the super moon tomorrow. And just tap on that and it opens it. To close the windows or screens, there are two different ways. Across the top row here, you'll see the URLs of all the open windows. And when there's an open window, there's a little X there, you can close the X, tap on the X, and it will close it. Or can come back to the top two and open all the windows again. I wanted to show you also now, I can then from here close the windows by swiping. We finished with my photography for seniors, can just swipe it closed. And down at the bottom here, you'll see, this now I can control my iPhone for my iPad. All these are open windows on my iPhone. Tapping on that brings that into the iPhone. Want to close that, don't want that there. And here is Victory Circles. I'm going to simply share this. I was going to share this. This happens to be on my iPad. Notice on the iPad, because it's showing the window on the iPad, even though I'm on my iPhone, showing the screen up at the top is the Send To icon on the top right. And this, my friend Sherry Rusk, is the Victory Circles, had a really interesting article on being grateful no matter what's going on in the elections. Uh, campaigning and so I want to send that to a friend or remind my I want to save it in Evernote I click on that I have a lot of options or I can mail it to a friend or message it simply wanted to show that option to you again now I'm going back remember I'm in my oh no I was still on my iPad okay I'm now going to pause and come back and we'll be on my iPhone and you'll see the difference. Controls for the iPad are at the top right. A plus sign, by the way, can open if you want to do a search or open a new window and search for the URL, you can do it that way. Okay, we'll be back in a moment with the iPhone. Okay, here I am on the iPhone now. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to open Safari. And now you'll see here it opens to the last window I was on. Now you'll see the controls are at the bottom. And at the bottom right, there are two windows. I want to see everything that's open. I'm going to tap on that. Now you'll see that all the open windows on the iPhone are stacked vertically. If I want to close them, and there, by the way, there's the iPad. So I can go back and be controlling the iPad. Uh, okay, now I want to go open another window. I open that. It's a trailer for a movie produced by DeWitt Jones' son. Some of you may know him from an interview I did with DeWitt Jones, a top-notch photographer. And again, I've seen that. You know that going there. This time, I can close it with the X here, or we can swipe it closed. And to open up a window here on the bottom is the plus sign if I want to do a search and open that. So that's how to control the eye.
thumb and then back if we wanted to do the iPad. That's now controlling the iPad. And this too is a great TED Talk. Here, if I want to send it to somebody, which I have, the send to is at the bottom. Tapping on that gives me the option to email, send to Evernote, save the PDF and iBooks. And that's it. So how to be looking at Windows managing Safari on your iPhone and your iPad. Again, Sheila Finkelstein, technologyforseniors, madeeasy.com. Thank you for visiting.